Welcome back to this tutorial. I'm building a board game review predictor with regression models. So just to summarize where we are at right now, we have developed a training and testing data set with 45,000 games in our training data set and 11,000 in our testing data set. And that was uh, from data that we imported from GitHub and then pre-processed in here. So we downloaded our games.csv from Git and we pre-processed it to remove incorrect or inaccurate data such as games with an average rating of zero and zero users as well as games that were missing information. So all of our games have information. And so we have 20 columns. We've seen some correlations between uh, between variables here but not a lot to go on. And so we're going to dive in now to using a linear regression model and a random forest model. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to do, as always, is import our models. So we're going to do that. Import linear regression model. And we'll do the linear regression model first. Linear model import linear regression so there's that and we also need some some errors so this is linear regression so one of the most common sources of error well not sources of error but uh, class of or quality metrics for error is the mean squared error which is just the average distance between each prediction and each label so we're going to import that This is what we'll be using to determine how accurate our model is. Okay, so the next step is to initialize the model class. And to do that, um, I'm just going to do LR for linear regress regression. And that is just equal to linear regressor or regression, which is this entire class that we imported from sklearn. So click enter it there. And now um, it's really simple. All we need to do is fit our data or fit the model to the training data. So this is optimizing the parameters of our regressor, regressor so that we can make more accurate predictions. So we'll do LR because that's our model dot fit. And we're going to use our train training data set here and the train target. So we have the we have the columns and we have the target. There we go. Make sure our brackets are correct. And so let's go ahead and click shift enter here to see if we've got everything correct so far. So yes, we do. It looks like it fit the model. So now we can move on to making predictions and classifying those predictions using our mean squared error. So let's generate the predictions for our testing set now. So remember the accuracy on the training data is not important because we want to make predictions or learn new information from these models. So we want to we want it to generalize well to new information and that is why we test each model on a testing data set or a validation data set. So predictions equal LR because that's our model dot predict and we'll do test and then we are going to need the only the columns here. So that'll do our predictions. And then what we want to do is we want to actually compute error between our test predictions and actual values, because that's what's important. That's what we want to know. So for that, we're just going to do the mean squared error. And we'll compare our predictions to our test, which is the target value of each of the games in our test data set. So if you remember, we split up the uh, training and testing so that the target would be average rating the and then the columns would be everything else. Okay, so let's see how this did. 
go ahead and click shift enter here. Oh, so we got a mean squared error of just over two. Uh, not bad, but not great. Uh, not surprising, this data is fairly complex, so there's not a linear model that's gonna fit it perfectly. Uh, perfect fit would be a zero here. So now let's actually move on to a nonlinear model and see how much better it does, or if it does do better at all, than our linear regressor. You know, up here in our correlation matrix, we with average rating, we didn't see anything that would indicate a strong linear relationship. So it's not that surprising that our linear regressor or our linear model isn't going to be a perfect fit for our data. So it's off by two on average for each uh, game review. So let's move on and we'll do import the random forest model. And so that's from sklearn again. And we'll import the random forest regressor. So this is a decision tree based model and it's going to be able to achieve nonlinearity. So we want to initialize the model and we're going to actually throw in some parameters here as well. So I'm going to do RFR, so our random forest regressor is going to be equal to the random forest regressor and we want to actually up the number of estimators here. So we'll do 100 and min samples. And then random state again so that this is reproducible. And this should be um, leaf actually. OK, let's try to fit that to our data and see see if it's able to achieve that. So we'll do our rfr.fit and we'll do the train columns and once again we need our train and target. Okay, so this is our training data set and we're fitting the training or the model to this data set. So that means we're optimizing the parameters. And here we go. Mm capitalization error here should have seen it coming all right much better it looks like we're able to go now so it will think for a sec thinking thinking and so it takes a slightly longer time to fit than our linear model because it's basically a combination of multiple linear models in a decision tree. So I'm not going to go into the details of a random forest regressor. However, it is often used for both classification and regression tasks. If you have data that needs a nonlinear model, it's a good choice a lot of the times. Whereas the linear regression model is a lot quicker and a lot faster and a lot simpler. It's not always um, the best. Okay, here we go. So these are all the parameters of our model. Let's move on to making some predictions. So we'll have predictions. These are going to be equal to our rfr.predict. And we'll have the test columns. So we want to just predict on the testing columns. And then, so let's add some comments here. And then we'll move on to compute the error between our test predictions and actual values. All right, so let's see if we beat our linear, linear regressor. We'll do a mean squared error again. Predictions, test, target. All right, so we'll go ahead and click Shift Enter here. And we did by almost uh, half a point in our average reviews. So our mean squared error here is 1.445. And uh, that is that is better by a fairly significant amount than our linear regression model up above. So maybe we need something more accurate than this. Maybe we don't. But it is interesting to see that a nonlinear model is able to achieve better results 
than the linear regressor. Um, to explore a little bit more about um, these predictions and what they look like, let's predict the rating for an individual case instead of our entire testing data set. So what I want to do is I want to print out one specific value and I'm going to use the dot ILOC notation once more so we can do positional based indexing for our data frame since this is a pandas data frame still. So let me print this out. I'll do shift enter and so here you see the first game and you know we have a bunch of these so you could do whichever one you would like. I'm just going to do the first one or you can do multiple if, if you so desire. So here we go, here's our information. <laughs> the year nicely rounded to four decimal points. Um, we have min players, max players, playing time, etc. All the same information that we had before. So now we can predict our rating. So what we'll do is we'll do an RFR, since that was our better one. Well actually let's let's we'll do we'll do both. So let's start with a linear regression model. We'll do predict test columns dot ILOC and we want the first one here. And what we're actually going to have to do since this is an individual value instead of an entire data set, we're going to have to do a values dot reshape. So this is in a format that the model can understand. So let's do, we'll rename this to rating LR and I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to do control C to copy, control V to paste, RFR, and we're going to have our RFR model predict this as well. So we can see what differences there lies there. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, once again, let's add some comments. And then once that's accomplished, all we have to do is print the predictions. So let's do a print rating LR, and we'll do a print rating RFR. Okay. So this should be go good to go. So let's go ahead and click uh, Shift Enter. And here we go. So um, our linear regression model predicts a score of 8.12, whereas our random forest regressor, 7.9, so slightly, slightly lower. Let me, uh, let's go ahead and print out the actual value for this. So that would be our test, and we want the target here, and we'd do ILOC of zero. I believe that is correct. Shift enter. So pretty good. Our actual value here, 8.07 was the average rating. Let me let me just do actually we'll leave this. It says up here. Users rated 15,000. So we had 15,000 rate this rate this game. And we were able to come within 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Our actual our linear regression model is actually closer on this one. Um, so we're within point 0.1 of the actual rating, within point oh five even. So that's pretty impressive considering 15,000 people reviewed this game. And that's based mainly off the year it was published and the number of users that were playing it and rating it and the total number of weights. So the average weight, very important. Again, that's the complexity of the game of the game it's it might be that more complex board games get higher ratings it's hard to say for sure without doing a more thorough investigation but um, in sum we are able to pretty accurately predict as you see here the ratings to board games based off very little information actually and we were able to ch train both a random forest regressor and a linear regression model to fit the data of 80,000 board games and predict the average rating from them. So um, this would be pretty useful if you were a board game manufacturer and wanted to know what types of games um, people liked and which games got the highest ratings. So that 
this would be a, a way to use machine learning to accomplish that task. Thanks for following along. I hope you learned a little bit about both Python, Git, um, using Jupyter Notebooks, as well as random forest regressors and linear regression models, and the always important pre-processing of the data. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.